Well, baby, I'm on it with a bottle of wine and an old jerk road. Are you ready to go if you want to? Hey, thanks for joining us today. Live Music Nation Podcast Festival Edition. Today we're with Kara Hinsey. She is with the Madison Chautauqua Festival of the Arts. I get that right? Yes. Okay, perfect. We're done. No. Kara, give us a little background on you. Tell us a little bit about uh, where you grew up. Talk a little bit about your family and your career. Okay. Um, I grew up in a small town in northern Indiana called Wabash. Um, Only child for most of my elementary years. And went to Ball State and Muncie, Indiana. Moved to Louisville, Kentucky. Met my husband. We got married. Two kids. Now we live in Madison, Indiana. So I've returned to my small town roots um, and loving every minute of it. How'd you get involved with the festival? I started when we moved in town um, as a volunteer to help out um, a way to meet some new people outside of mom groups, just some other adults (laughs) that were into arts and things that I might have similar interest in. Um, So I started volunteering, helping a little bit here and there. And, you know, five, six years later, now I'm coordinating the event. Absolutely. Okay. To the listener that has never been there Mm -hmm. for this event. Three questions that really help paint the picture, give them the incredible environment that it can be. What does it look like? What does it smell like, meaning food? What does it sound like, meaning activities, music, entertainment, et cetera? Okay. Um, Well, what it looks like is we are down along the beautiful Ohio River um, in the historic neighborhoods of Madison, Indiana. So um, you see some beautiful homes. The architecture of Main Street cannot be denied. It's beautiful. Um, there's a great pride locally in restoration and maintaining our historical buildings. We're situated around the Lanier Mansion, um, which is one of the you know founding fathers of uh, the state of Indiana. So um, it's a beautiful historic home that you can tour. What it smells like, we have probably 20 different food vendors, 20 to 25 different food vendors. We try to make sure nobody copies. Um, We don't have two people selling the same thing. So you'll have gourmet grilled cheese. You'll have your um, different beverages. We have local beer that's offered. Um, What it sounds like, we have six different locations for live um, entertainment and those a lot of those are um, just people that have returned year after year Uh, people come to the festival for certain entertainment acts just as much as they do for the artists Um, but the biggest draw is that this year we're going to have 200 different um, artist booths so that will be the focus of the festival but obviously the whole ambiance of being along the river and the shade trees with the beautiful architecture with all the different food options and music options it's it's a great time to come and spend an afternoon now your artist booth are they juried or yes. are okay and yes. then are or is everything for sale yes um and Most of our artists will have kind of a wide range of prices that they sell different things, you know, smaller pieces, some reproduction of their artwork, but it is a juried event. Um, This year we have a large jury because we had a large number of applicants. So we have a diverse group of jury members to help pick and make sure specialties. Um, So yeah, different price points, anything from, you know, five to $10 up to a thousand dollar paintings, you'll find it down Mm -hmm. at our festival. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. What's your personal favorite thing about this event? Um, I come from a different perspective because I'm looking at it kind of logistically. So for me, my favorite part is walking around a festival, just seeing people everywhere, um, seeing the artists engaged, talking to different people as they're shopping in their booths, seeing people standing in line, seeing little kids in our kids tent and they're coloring with their tongues out and having a great time. We have a chalk walk area where people can sign up and do their own artwork on the streets. So to walk around the festival and just see a bunch of happy people enjoying themselves, um, taking pride, the locals taking pride in hosting the event. Um, So that's definitely uh, great. And gourmet grilled cheese is never bad. (laughs) Absolutely. That sounds delicious. 
Very good. Okay, a couple fun questions. Okay. I'm into live music and live entertainment, so I always ask these two questions. First question is, for you personally, what is the best concert you've ever been to your entire life? Oh, that would be hard to pick. I think, um, well, a lot of times it depends on who I'm at the concert with. Um, I've gone to a lot of great shows um, and small venues with my husband, and we've just had a great time. I saw Jamie Cullum, who, um, you know, he does big, big venues, but I saw him in Indianapolis in a small room, and that was incredible. Um, I also took my mom to share and taking wow, my yeah. mom to a concert and seeing share mm -hmm. live. It's kind of hard to beat that. Yep. I agree. Dead or live. You could bring one musical act to your hometown. Who, who would you bring? Hmm. I don't know. Dead or alive. I mean, it would be pretty fun. My aunt was obsessed with Elvis. Yeah. And so I kind of grew up listening mm -hmm. to that. Um, and then also my mom played Tina Turner, like, constantly as a child so i think that might be fun so one of yes. those would be great some classics yep absolutely absolutely how do people find out more about your event and some of the other events you have going on throughout the year um you can go to madison chautauqua c-h-a-u-t-a-u-q-u-a.com um to see all about our festival uh, madison itself is filled with great events all year round. So if you go to visit madison.org, you can check out, um, they have a calendar of events, including ours, um, our social media. If you look for us on, um, Facebook and Instagram, we keep pretty updated with that. So if you go just look up Madison Chautauqua and you'll find us. Awesome. That is great. Kara, thank you so much for sharing a little bit about what's going on with your festival, of the arts. We appreciate you greatly. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Well, baby, I'm all dead with a bottle of wine.